So this is a patent from, it was published in 2003. And you can see it was a grant. So somebody paid this guy to do this. Nervous system manipulation by electromagnetic fields from monitors. So he's talking about computers, televisions, anything with a monitor that can display an image or a video can manipulate the uh, nervous system of anyone within range. And so I did, if you click on the name of the guy, it sounds so fake. Hendricius Gilus. Hendricius? It just sounds like a completely made up name. But either way, uh, here's the other patents that are listed when you click under this guy's name. So you can see remote magnetic manipulation of the nervous system. Subliminal acoustic manipulation of the nervous system. Thermal excitation of sensory resonances. Magnetic excitation of sensory resonances. Um, method and apparatus for manipulating nervous systems. Nervous system manipulation by electromagnetic fields. I mean, this guy's his whole job is to figure out how to control people by their devices. So going back to that original one that I showed you, I didn't click on the other ones, just this one. Uh, computer monitors, TV monitors, and I'm guessing smartphones. This was 2003, remember. They didn't have smartphones in 2003, but I'm sure that this it's incorporated. Can be made to emit low-frequency electromagnetic fields merely by pulsing the intensity of displayed images. Experiments have shown that a half a hertz and 2.4 hertz works. Uh, hence, a TV monitor or any kind of monitor can be used to manipulate the nervous system of nearby people. The implementation of the invention are adapted to the source of video streams that drives the monitor, be it a computer program, TV broadcast, a videotape, or a DVD. See, videotape. This shows you how old this is. <laughs> no, no, no patent or article written today would mention a videotape. So you can, you can just think how much advanced it is. And certain monitors uh, can emit electromagnetic field pulses that excite a sensory resonance in a nearby subject, though image pulses are so weak as to be subliminal. This is unfortunate since it opens a way for mischievous application of the invention, whereby people are exposed unknowingly to manipulation of their nervous systems for someone else's purposes. Such application would be unethical and is, of course, not advocated. It is mentioned here in order to alert the public to the possibility of covert abuse that may occur while being online or while watching TV, a video, or a DVD. You would think if he's so worried about it, he wouldn't continuously be researching it and finding out different ways to do it. All right? I read to you all those different patents he has on how to manipulate the nervous system. You know, you wouldn't be showing the people that you're worried about being unethical how to do it over and over and over again if you really didn't want them to do it. Anyone you know that says that's impossible, there are no subliminal messages, that's just conspiracy, blah, show them this. Give them the links and, and have them look up on this guy's work. And again, this is just one of them. You can click any one of those patents, I'm sure, and it'll have the same kind of subliminal stuff in there. And again, this is from 2003. 12 years ago, and just think how technology has advanced since then.